go. It's Wario versus DDD. Tyroy rocking. Oh, it's Tyroy's DDD, man. He, I, I, like I said, uh, this time last year we saw Tyroy just like go into all of his Champagne or Banner weeklies playing different characters every time. Uh, once I tuned into their stream, you saw DDD did it. I'm like, is this what we come to? <laughs> just watching him bear that motorcycle. The motorcycle doesn't even care, man. <laughs> All right, so Wario basically almost like Luigi, right? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> sort of. Instead of up B, he's got down B, you know? Yeah, but like, there's not a whole lot that Wario has been able to do because just the disjoints on DDD's part. Tyro's just doing a really good job of just kind of baiting out SPF to do these unsafe approaches. Yeah, there's like, and there's absolutely a lot of special things about Wario. And his, his forward throw creates stage control right there. But uh, DD with his five jumps and his pressure to be able to up air through the lift one, two, maybe even more times. Ooh, that back air almost connecting, but following up with the down smash, only 67% on this first stock. As you see Tyro taking that first stock. And uh, Tyro himself, we're, we're coming to the close on this season right now. Tyro himself having a really strong season. Yeah, I uh, bet Technique is probably. Oh my god! 99 <laughs> after the hit. That, and that was like the half walk. That, that, Yo, okay, that's that just goes to show a how much knockback that move has, b just how close in Smash Will's side blast zones really are. Because, oh my God, that killed at a percent that I was really not, and that was half waft. Too. Half waft, 99 after the hit, right at the side. It's like DDD, man. He should be living to like 180. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, you learn something new every day in this game, I guess. Uh, Up air is gonna put SPF in a pretty bad situation. He's gonna hang on platform. He doesn't really want to deal with the DDD pressure. DDD with his five jumps, he can just back here five times and yeah. not even care about he's it. He's gotta watch out for whenever he's shielding, because Tyro's starting to pick up on it. He's just planting Gordo right on top of the shield. Uh, but because that's some insane shield pressure. Start base fruit with that forward air though to answer the Gordo. Not a lot of characters have quite uh, I mean if you don't main somebody you, you gotta immediately know your answer to Gordo, you know. Ooh, back here. Ooh, that trade did Almost not work out for SPF at all. Almost killed him across the entirety of Smashville. But uh, as the talk continues to click, I think we got another half one on lock, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's true. He should be. It, it's getting close to... Oh, he had it. And no punish on that either. I'm pretty sure the Tyra had something after that. Punishes the Amidst Attack roll to the right now. It's a, still a pretty even game, but let's see. Tyler's got... I want to say Tyler's got a few more games in DDD than as Gift got is on his Wario. Oh, but just missing one aerial and one back air is all DDD needs, and Tyler's going to be taking the first game. Now, the question is, does SPF stay on random, or is he going to be just going Luigi and just like, okay, you know what? No, no more playing around. I don't want to play. I mean, I think they can afford to ride it out, but also I think uh, his Luigi no, can find himself a game out. three. Yeah, they're running it out. Random ditto. Running it back. To, everything's a run back. No, just right. going right back to Smashville. At the weekly on Thursday. Oh the, no! <laughs> well, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. They both play these characters to some extent. Uh, I know they play these characters to some extent, but I don't know about this matchup, man. It looks, it looks, it looks really, really rough. Hey, they're trying to give us a good time. They're trying to keep us on our toes. Like, do we know these characters well enough? <laughs> Oh, oh no. gets that abysmal grab. Here we go. I'm surprised that he didn't get a harder punish for that. Yeah. Both of these characters, like, if you with with a grab, you got like a thousand years to punish it. So, so far, Tyra has not. Oh, I was about to say he has not got touched, but then SPF kind of coming in and saving me there. Top bears. There's very little that Pac-Man can do to kind of contest those. Just constant upper pressure from ZSS. Tyler with all the pressure right now. Okay, dropping the Hydrant, trying to get a setup. Oh, okay. Spaces himself and gets a little aerial string. Ooh, that's oh, a stock right there. Oh, no. <laughs> and a kill. <laughs> Fire Hydrant working against him there. Oh, my God. I'm trying to get some Hydrant setups, but Tyler's just kind of ignoring it. I love the jab there to pressure the shield, getting him that grab, but not too much percent off of that. Tyler just taking the stock lead and just building it up. Yeah, he's just moving a groove at this point. Oh, okay. He's starting to do he's starting to do the fancy stuff with the uh, hydrant push and with his movement. Ooh, Ooh I like that hydrant push out. forward smash. I like that call out on the forward smash. Try for up there again. The grab, and he's gonna get punished way hard for that. Ooh. Tyler, not giving him any breaks. No spike there. Up, he might oh. not kill with good DI. There yeah, we go. There we go. I was about to say, that could have been it, but knowing Pac-Man is weight, 
Okay. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a little round. But uh, not enough to save him from that back here. Yep, that's not going to be enough. So good uh, stuff for Tyler. <laughs> Tyler's random, taking a 2-0 over Starbase Fruit. But Although, to be fair, to be fair, that that game two, RNG was not on Starbase Fruit's side. Like.